January 20th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Genesis chapter 36 from the Old Testament What follows is an account of Esau, also known as Edom. Esau took his wives from the Canaanites, Ada, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Oholabama, the daughter of Ana, and granddaughter of Zibion, the Hivite, in addition to Basimath, the daughter of Ishmael, and sister of Nebaioth. Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau, Basimath bore Ruel, and Oholabama bore Jeash, Jalem, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau, who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, all the people in his household, his livestock, his animals, and all his possessions which he had acquired in the land of Canaan, and went to a land some distance away from Jacob his brother, because they had too many possessions to be able to stay together, and the land where they had settled was not able to support them because of their livestock. So Esau, also known as Edom, lived in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in the hill country of Seir. These were the names of Esau's sons. Eliphaz, the son of Esau's wife Ada, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife Basimath. The sons of Eliphaz were Timon, Omar, Zepho, Gatim, and Kenaz. Timnah, a concubine of Esau's son Eliphaz, bore Amalek to Eliphaz. These were the sons of Esau's wife Ada. These were the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shema, and Mizah. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Basimath. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Oholabama, the daughter of Ana and the granddaughter of Zibion. She bore Jeesh, Jalem, and Korah to Esau. These were the chiefs among the descendants of Esau. The sons of Eliphaz, Esau's firstborn. Chief Timon, Chief Omar, Chief Zepho, Chief Kenaz, Chief Korah, Chief Gatim, Chief Amalek. These were the chiefs descended from Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Ada. These were the sons of Esau's son Ruel, Chief Nahath, Chief Zerah, Chief Shema, Chief Mizah. These were the chiefs descended from Ruel in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Basimath. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Oholabama, Chief Jeesh, Chief Jalem, Chief Korah. These were the chiefs descended from Esau's wife, Oholabama, the daughter of Ana. These were the sons of Esau, also known as Edom, and these were their chiefs. These were the sons of Seir, the Horite, who were living in the land Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Daishan, Ezer, and Daishan. These were the chiefs of the Horites, the descendants of Seir in the land of Edom. The sons of Lotan were Horai and Homam. Lotan's sister was Timnah. These were the sons of Shobal, Alvin, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. 
These were the sons of Zibion, Ea and Ana, who discovered the hot springs in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zibion. These were the children of Ana, Dishon, and Oholabama, the daughter of Ana. These were the sons of Dishon, Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Karan. These were the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zeavon, and Achan. These were the sons of Dishon, Uz, and Aaron. These were the chiefs of the Horites, Chief Lotan, Chief Shobal, Chief Zibion, Chief Ana, Chief Dishon, Chief Ezer, Chief Dishon. These were the chiefs of the Horites according to their chief list in the land of Seir. These were the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king ruled over the Israelites. Bela, the son of Beor, reigned in Edom. The name of his city was Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, the son of Zerah, from Basra, reigned in his place. When Jobab died, Husham, from the land of the Temanites, reigned in his place. When Husham died, Hadad, the son of Bedad, who defeated the Midianites in the land of Moab, reigned in his place. The name of his city was Avith. When Hadad died, Samla from Masraka reigned in his place. When Samla died, Shal from Rehoboth by the river reigned in his place. When Shal died, Balhanun, the son of Akbar, reigned in his place. When Balhanun, the son of Akbar, died, Hadad reigned in his place. The name of his city was Pa. His wife's name was Mahedabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mesahab. These were the names of the chiefs of Esau, according to their families, according to their places, by their names. Chief Timna, Chief Alva, Chief Jetheth, Chief Oholabama, Chief Ela, Chief Pinyon, Chief Kenaz, Chief Teman, Chief Mibzar, Chief Megdil, Chief Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom, according to their settlements in the land they possessed. This was Esau, the father of the Edomites. God, as I was uh, researching and practicing all those names and and thinking about your word, I know that everything in the Bible is important for us, even these genealogies. And although um, I may not have studied enough to completely understand all the genealogies and exactly all of the reasons why you put them in there, something kept coming to my mind that I know in, a, I know in about 10 chapters or so we get to Jacob's um, list <laughs> of all of his sons and, and their ancestors and uh, all of these people that are in charge uh, of your world and different people who reigned as as other people took over and as people passed away and other people took over and what just kept coming into my heart god as i as i read this and studied this was even though there was this change in in wives and sons and people who died and the new people who reigned and there was all this change just like the recent election we just went through there's all this change and there's all this uncertainty and there's all this um, anger or frustration as certain people take over or excitement and enjoy as other people take over depending upon depending upon how the world's going at that time and I just keep going back to the fact that you 
You are the one who is consistent. You are the one who reigns over everything. That in our day-to-day -day living, sometimes we get so caught up in this, this world that is incredibly temporary. That we forget that as we go in and out of changes in political environment, or maybe changes in our job, or maybe changes in relationships, that we need to stop and quit making those actually about us. Because nothing, honestly, is about us. It's all about glorifying you, God. That you reign sovereign over everything. And whether we, we happen to personally like who's in charge of certain parts of the government, or whether we like or don't like a relationship that's in our life, or whether we like or don't like our job, we have to keep in mind that all those things are here for one purpose. And that one purpose isn't about us. Uh, and we try so hard to make it about us, but that one purpose is that you reign over everything. That one purpose is your glorification. That one purpose is so that we can simply, not that it's easy, but that we simply reflect you and all that you are in this world, God. All of these people that whose names I just read, who were important to their families at that time and perhaps important to the cities and the areas because of the position they held, it really doesn't matter. All that matters is if we're important to you. And if you're able to look down on us and go, <laughs> yes, yes, keep doing what you're doing. Yes, keep talking about my son and how he can change people's lives. Keep praying for people. Yes, even even when they're pains to you. <laughs> keep praying for them. Yes, keep loving people. Not just the ones that are easy to love. And allow us to always remember God that all of this stuff, all of this noise may seem really, really important at the time, but let us today, as we go through our day, keep things in perspective. That not a single thing that exists in our world, our emotions, ourselves, the stuff around us, our families, our job, none of it would exist without you. So let's keep perspective today. Help us to keep perspective today on what is really important instead of getting caught up in all of this worldly stuff. Noise. Busyness. Let's remember our true value here on earth. As reflectors of your love and your kindness and your grace and your forgiveness that we are reflectors of all of those things to ultimately glorify you. Thank you, God, for today's reading. I learned a lot about a lot of people's names <laughs> and how to pronounce them. And hopefully I get a chance to meet some of them in heaven and I already know how to say their name, which is awesome. But I thank you for allowing me to study this in and remember that even in long list of names where we may get caught up in, in all the names and what they mean and, and we may just gloss over them because they seem just really busy to us. That in the busyness of today, we remember who is in charge and who reigns over everything. We love you very much, God. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Thank you.